Welcome everybody to another Premodern Super League match. I'm Anton Glanz and uh, today I was paired up with the other fluctuator cycling dude. Last <laughs> week it was Flint, now it's Danny De Roy. Hello Danny. Yes. Hi, thank you very much, Anto. Yeah, yeah, we are taking over your 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 sidekick duties, uh, one 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 after each other, right? So yeah, yeah. There needs to be one people cycling uh, besides you, uh, Anto. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I like you cycling dudes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We like you as well, man. We like you as well. <laughs> cool. Cool. So uh, we're um, invited by uh, Will for this cool tournament he's organizing. Uh, and today we will mm -hmm. see Cyberpunker face off Mike Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I played Cyberpunker a couple of times because I was also part of the uh, league a couple of times. And uh, yep. he always plays the same deck. So I'm probably seeing his deck list uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty shortly. And it will definitely be the same deck again, I guess. Yeah, I, I played him uh, on webcam and uh, I've only faced him on Madness. So I, I assume uh, that's what we're going to see as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Arnold, he could be playing everything, right? So. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, he, he's on every deck there is. Like, he, he is the super <laughs> gauntlet father. So, like, he has a gauntlet of 64 decks, basically. So, you never know. <laughs> 64 decks. Whew. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a, that's lot. a lot, man. That's a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> but a maybe lot. we should go to uh, maybe we should go to the first uh, deck list here and see uh, see yeah. what's coming up here. Ah, like yes, this is it. what I wanted to see. This one is this is look at this deck list. It's really really clean and really well thought out. I really like this deck list, by the way. The main board that is the the sideboard. I can I can mock a little bit, but the main board is really well thought out. Look at the four yeah. survival of the fittest. And then all the one-offs, like Gilded yeah. Drake, Waterfall Browser, and, and the, the Wanderer all have similar spots in the game where you can mm -hmm. actually uh, win. And just pause, Quee, right? Your favorite red uh, goblin. Yeah, 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 Quee, for sure. Goblin name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this deck, uh, I mean, I've always made fun of Madness being like, uh, I don't know, the, the first deck someone enters the Fortnite with because of nostalgia and like mm -hmm. it's not playable, mm -hmm. but like, Stanley has really shown the community like this deck is fierce and like a force to be reckoned with and he plays it extremely well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 mana deck always has like because you have a blue green, your mana base is a bit rough, right? And you also yep. want to play Wasteland and Tempo. So I like that he he just decided on no fetches at all, just mm. purely on basics making sure you have to maximize on on that so no yeah. no fetches for deck thinking or something else yeah uh, just one island one forest and then um, normally you're kind of good to go <laughs> yeah i mean uh, there, there's always the debate about his wastelands uh i think like everyone has played his deck uh, has complained about like yeah we need more colored mana but uh stan uh, keeps insisting that wasteland is is crucial and key for his temple plan and uh, I mean, he has the result to back it up with. So uh, some decks are just meant for like the the pilot who have really, really become the the yeah. deck specialist. Exactly. And then then hopping hopping to the sideboard, there are a couple of cards that you do not not normally face when you're facing a blue green deck. But mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, the full four off of pyrokinesis and two cave in, which are six yeah. red cards that you can cast without mountains. But yep. you need or one of the other or squeak goblin name up to actually exile it. I, um, I did some calculations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're when, the math guy. <laughs> when playing some things, this should not be normal happening at turn one, two, or three. However, mm. it's actually surprising consistent if you look at cards like Careful Study and Frantic mm. Search, actually mm. netting you some cards and making sure you get the squeak so normally i would like this is completely bonkers but it has some merits uh, to to playing these kind of cards and i don't think but i'm not sure if uh, sunny does it he bores in cave and plus pyrokinesis in one matchup i don't know if it's both or just one or the other i, 
I think uh, this was basically like Madness couldn't deal with elves, and this was his way to find like th he found a solution to it basically. And I mean, obviously, it affects his sideboard a lot, but like goblins and elves mm -hmm. are quite prevalent decks, of course, and uh, very strong decks in the format. So uh, I mean, yeah, I <laughs> I don't know the math behind it, and it kind of looks weird, but like <laughs> I know it's working for him. So like I I, I put my trust in this guy. <laughs> okay. Let's see, yeah. let's see. And like, uh, yeah, one last point, uh, if we can go back, just uh, Will here, as the producer who is doing this live. Um, he only plays like, um, what is it, 7, 8, it's 12 blue sources, which is obviously if we go to Frank Karsten's uh, chart yeah, for that's... if you want to make a blue, blue play <laughs> on turn two, like that's very, very low uh, chance, but Stan has argued mm -hmm. for this as well. Like counterspell is not for turn two. It's like it's it's for mid and late game. So and he, he plays it that way. And like yeah, I'm starting to come around on a lot of like heuristics that you normally use when deck building. Mm -hmm. uh, and what Stan yeah. has has come up with here. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he he, he just went, made a Swiss Army knife, right? That's basically yeah. what he wanted to make of. Uh... Yeah. Of his yeah. Murfolk deck. On to the next one, Murfolk. Mm -hmm. Well, I mm -hmm. haven't tried a Murfolk list yet, but if I see cards like Sakwata Firewalker, I know, right? And Tidal oh Warrior. Yeah. These are the these are the nostalgia things. Like oh, back in the days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I th I think we'll have to explain some of these cards like when we go uh, for the, to the match. But like, yeah, there there are a lot of um, like these cards you don't normally see, right? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And also, if you look at the matchup in between, uh, mm -hmm. Michael plays four Wastelands as well. So yep. I'm definitely going to see some land destruction onto each other. Uh, also with the Tidal Warrior, mm -hmm. you, 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 you can get off uh, green in that sense uh, for the for, for Stanley. So yeah, yeah that, that's, uh, that's the first, uh, <laughs> the first hitting mean, each other for that one. Yeah. yeah, this is super interesting because like uh, Stanley has Wander to, to get Evasion and uh, Michael has uh, Lord of Atlantis to get the Isle of Walk for, uh, for Evasion. So um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think this matchup will be like super interesting, like two big tempo decks that uh, can... Yeah, I, I have no idea how this will play. I have never seen this matchup before. <laughs> I've also never seen this match before. I have seen some Murfolk list, but they played yeah. also different cards. So yeah. I'm seeing this like like four Winter Orb is also coming with a plan, right? So mm. you, you want to have a creature, Winter Orb, um, and not that lot of a Counterspell. So for instance, the card Counterspell isn't even in this one. No. You, 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 you just want to make sure your opponent doesn't have the mana. And, and then you taste them. Can, and then you just uh, <laughs> grizzly bear them to victory. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I think the tempo plan is fine here. And like pairing winter orbs with gush and days is obviously quite synergistic, uh, along with foil. Uh, and you have submerge versus the, the green big arrogant dudes, right? So yeah, this looks super sweet. Exactly, exactly. And also, if you if you look at the sideboard. Um, Michael also has a plan against the red decks, right? So two blue mm. elemental blasts and two hydro blasts, and mm. also against the green decks. And I think this one is going to be coming in this matchup, right? So three submerges, for sure. For sure. A free way to deal with big green creatures. Uh, no. Sorry, to with big creatures if your opponent has a forest, right? So you don't have yeah. to have these shenanigans with the uh, with the color dog. No, no, no. But yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's jump into gameplay and see what's happening. Let's see. Okay, we have on the bottom side Michael Arnold with Merfolk deciding what he wants to mulligan this seven card hand. But he... this is a great oh. hand. Yeah. This, this is, is great. Yeah. Yeah. And we appear not to see Stanley's hand. Uh, which makes commentary even more fun, Danny. It, it's it's uh, we, we realize that it's like it's weird to do commentary on uh, open uh, hands. Like it takes away some mystique. Uh, uh -huh. So this this will be fun. So we can speculate what uh, Stanley is playing around or whatever. Okay, he is uh, opting to start off with a Basin Rudwalla from a not yep. to name set. <laughs> <laughs> 
And here you can see that being on the play is really important, right? Yeah. Do you think, so uh, would you have dazed the careful study there if you were Arnold, if he was on the play? Definitely, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Uh, and but like, interesting enough is Arnold doesn't have any main ways to deal with survival if it lands. Uh, so he kind of need to, I mean, he both have foil and mm -hmm. days uh, alive here. So yeah. Wasteland, okay, yeah. yeah. Exactly, Wasteland, yep. Seems good. It's kind of funny because he's playing second, but still Wasteland is a really good choice here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Stanley is hitting his uh, mana here still, so. Yeah. Are we pumping? Huh? He's no not pumping. pumping, so he must be playing survival. Yeah, there it is. Oh, right into the gush. No, sorry, daze, I mean. <laughs> I think you have to daze this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. This is also a really good play. Look at this. He, he taps his island so he won't get dazed back. It's this really mm. small differences just to make sure that you're not uh, getting yeah. dazed back. But now you're two two turns behind, so this is also going to be a difficult yeah. one. But this ah, is good, oh, like it... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. the Vodalion Merchant. But it's a great blocker, like, and if it sticks and the Lord of Atlantis comes down, then it becomes like a big beater. So yeah, a big beater. <laughs> I mean, a two three is like big in pre-modern standard, right? That's that's right. That's right. <laughs> Two three it trumps everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, Stanley really it's... found a perfect mana this game with uh, like both island for us, yeah, Maya Coast and Cedar Brass here. So, and still no pump. So he's he's definitely signaling that he has something. Yeah, frantic search into uh, arrogant worm. Smells like it. That smells like it, yeah. yeah. Because also he discolored frantic search, yeah. So he, I think yeah. he. He probably has one of the cards there. Yeah. I don't like foil here. Is he going to discard on foil? No, he just got no, island. Okay. So he has gush to foil. Yeah, but he has two foil. Okay, yeah. Well, Arnold has played a lot of Merfolks as well. Uh, I know he sometimes mm -hmm. called his deck fish and ships, but I think that's when he adds the Stifonaut package. Uh, but now he went more like Ooh. rogue um, Merfolk here. So that's cool. Now he decides to pump. So last time he didn't decide to do anything, Cyber Cyberpunk. I mean, it might just signal that he has counter spell. Maybe it. He, and he didn't want to counter a one two, which makes sense. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no. But like maybe Lord of Atlantis or Stalin perhaps doesn't know what was up. Like he has seen days <laughs> wasteland and islands before the the merchant here. So mm -hmm. this is surely what, uh, this is sort of foil. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. But like, yeah, this is not the deck you expect uh, when you see Days <laughs> Wasteland <laughs> Island. <laughs> yeah, we discussed Bouncer, so I'm I'm definitely doing other things if I was in the seat of Michael here. So, yeah. hmm. but he has another oh. Bouncer as well. So, um, the the cool thing with the Bouncer is like it's the biggest art one one creature in the game like it's huge <laughs> for one one <laughs> but uh, it, it has been errated uh, so it's now a mer merfolk i think the original card from nemesis says uh, spell shifter or something um but ah, it's a merfolk now so so um quite strong yeah here you see this calling the island hampered a little bit right because you cannot gush now yeah. possibly yeah, now he really needs to land the Lord of Atlantis here. Yeah, but now he doesn't have the item to, to counter back. Well, he, he, has, he has Gush, right? So. Um... Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's exactly what, what we're going to see here. And then. Hmm. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, I think he really needs to stick uh, Lord of Atlantis if he wants to race. Oh. But, okay, he doesn't. Cool. Hey, what do we know? What do we know? Yeah, feeling uh, not. And I know, <laughs> yeah, and I know Stanley is like he, he's great at, at doing this. Like just chip in, chip in some damage, and uh, play like a board control uh, game. Because uh, mm -hmm. like he's putting down. 
Oh, is this a main face frantic search? Yeah. Yep. Also, no gushing response. Mm -hmm. Like he has time, right? He's still on eleven, so yeah. No mana scars discarded as well. Can we see mm -hmm. what he discarded? Yeah, so I Not think here, but... it looked like two lands, uh, like one basic and one again. My card, ah, I think. Okay. Two lands, yeah. Uh, it seems to me he's kind of land heavy, right? Because he also discolored yeah. the land and he, he was wasteland, but still has uh, has oh. five lands up. Yeah, he's filtering for stuff. But yeah, maybe Arnold did uh, correct it by letting Lord of Atlantis just get countered because he has the bouncers to deal with the root wall later. So yeah. Because I think the only card he's really fearing is survival. Survival, yeah. Yeah. But also, if if you have like a wild mongrel with with a with a squee yeah. or something, that's also yeah, yeah, it can be become problematic for sure. No pump again. But winter would be bump? pretty pretty strong here to contain um, the pump ability from from the root. Yes. Yeah. So we're gushing. Or are we just doing the waterfront? Yeah, here comes the bouncer. <laughs> it's kind of funny that we are we are actually pinpointing all the wrong cards that we find. Are we there? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's this is magic, like it shows. Uh I'm not familiar with this deck at all. So like uh I, I want to do the broken place. Like, okay, it does gush <laughs> afterwards. Okay. But you should probably waste on the cedar brass, right? Ooh, Sakwata Lancer. There he is. I think we should uh, tell people what this actually does. So it's a zero one human wizard, I think, for three. Uh, that has shroud from red spells and abilities. And, exactly, it, exactly. and it's a uh, Timmy, it can ping. Uh target it's player just a or creature. Sorcerer with, with with just a really badass art. Yeah. That's basically yeah. what it is. But having Shroud from Red is uh, quite good in this format. Yes. It's actually really, really good, yeah. 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 And it can deal with uh, the best new root wellers if Winter Orb comes down, then it can't pump yep. root wellers for all eternity, so yeah. But maybe Michael Arnold is just thinking about let's just uh, ramp up to 4 mana and just hard cast these foils, because he's noticing that uh, Cyberpunk doesn't really have anything here. He's yeah. just going with the two root wellers. He's obviously kind of flooded. But I love that. Oh, okay, now he's he's doing the double pump here. No. Yeah. Yeah. So now Arnold will play the winter orb. Uh, he he wants to have value, and then he can exactly. bounce one root while. Yeah, he might stabilize here. And tidal warrior draw. Yeah. Okay, and now we have our. Uh... We have stopped the uh, the uh, aggression here because also what of our bouncer is really good at keeping uh, the bumps at bay. Mm, yeah, I think um, I would have wanted a wasteland there, but he might go with a tighter warrior. Or do you just think he wants to activate the bouncer, have one man up for that? I would have. Oh, uh, weirdly now, yeah, he doesn't have an island in his hand, so he can't yeah, the, use exactly. any foils. Wow, yeah. That was a huge play by Stanley to have the counter spell there. And yeah, perhaps a uh, miss. A yeah. No. Well, I yeah. wanted one of the foils to be discarded on turn three, so. <laughs> but maybe yeah. uh, maybe if we, if we have him, like, I can see the assessment of making sure that you have the long game ready. Do you think Arnold? I mean, did he play around days there, or was it just a brain fart to play out the third island instead of wasteland and like not leave foil back? I, I'm not sure what happened there. I'm also not sure. I mm. think if you if you play wasteland, you cannot bounce anymore. Mm. But it was really necessary to have the uh, 
Oh, this is tricky. Yeah. I think it was really necessary to have the winter Arnold play, but yeah, for sure. I think like Arnold basically played four rounds for this. He wanted Stanley to like attack, double pump, tap out himself, and then he would like that was his whole orchestra for exactly. this uh, game. Yeah. So the yeah. counter spell there was very very key. Also, wastelanding a city of brass was also not a really bad proposition to make as well. No. Yeah, in this spot, like keeping off double green is relevant for sure. We'll see. Something to one. Oh, good top deck. <laughs> so now we, can, now we can wasteland the Cedar Brass to, uh, and then move to uh, second main to play around Counterspell mana. Yep. And uh, he didn't even float mana, so. The beauty of uh, Painlands, you don't always float. <laughs> exactly. Do you attack here? I don't think you can afford to when you're at one, I, right? I guess, I guess not. I guess not. Because it... Yeah. Ah, and there's a squee in the graveyard now. Nice. Yeah, when Madness like gets its wheel going uh, with the squee and the survival and uh, like the wild mongrel here, we have the wild mongrel, of course. Uh, it's mm, it's mm. fun to see. Oh, a wonder! <laughs> oh, that's huge! Just got a wonder. That's a really oh nice. yeah. Damn. That's my nice state on my state on. This and was like, yeah, still the... Sorry, go ahead. This was yeah. a really strange game. If yeah. I want to see it from the uh, this side, yeah. But Stanley really like he knows every ship damage matters, and he he plays really well when he likes chooses not to pump, and when he chooses to pump, and like mm -hmm. I think he sometimes just not chooses to pump to signal that he might have a counter spell, even though he doesn't have it, and like just uh, putting the mind tricks on on the opponent, basically. Uh, but yeah, exactly. So our hero here with the contemplating a sideboard is uh, zero one. He is one zero down. He immediately goes for the furnaces, which, which makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Sakata oh. Firewalkers are uh, not completely dead, uh, of course, but like you don't need four, and they're a bit clunky to deploy with three mana. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. submerges and the furnaces must come in, uh, for sure. And this is also really, really hard. This deck is already kind of hard, but sideboarding, play or draw, mm. is insanely different. I can imagine he wants to sideboard some cards back again if he yeah. wants to the second game. I think I think you might want Anol. Uh because like survival, I, I don't think Arnold mm. can really I mean he could probably race, but like it will become difficult without Lord of Atlantis. Yeah. I like Stifle here, but he didn't uh, take that. I okay, don't think we have he a full hand. We really do, but this is feels like a good one. So do you start with the warrior or the furnace? Yeah, the warrior seems better. The warrior can attack. The warrior can also fuck up Stanley's mana. <laughs> 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 it does it all, right? It's 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 the, just the, the the best one drop in the form. It blocks lackeys. It does everything you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, here he can't if he um, warriors his uh, Javamaya coast. He can't deploy a turn to survival uh, if he doesn't have another green source. Yep. But we're playing our next format all star in a one two for two. Yeah. I think I would have opted for a Lord of Atlantis on turn two here. Uh, like, oh, just yeah. because it has more value and Stanley doesn't have any days availability or a counter spell uh, here. Yeah, I would have done the same. But I like yeah. this card here. Just. Making sure Ooh. you have all the... And now you're not attacking, right? Yes. Okay, so no, no, no. Upkeep, he's trying to make sure that uh, Stanley doesn't have uh, a green this two is drop. sweet, Daniel. Oh my god, I haven't seen a Tidal Warrior getting tapped for uh, ages. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what you want to see, right? <laughs> ah, no, he had a forest. Okay, shit. So here comes survival, of course. <laughs> Well, uh, at least he has furnaces, so there's that. 
yeah, and now it's just uh, the cat's out of the bag. So let's drop everything yeah. you're doing, right? Yeah. And now Tidal Warrior becomes relevant because Island Walk matters. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe if it, if it play a furnace, right? Yeah, yeah, he must. Because I, I imagine Cyberpunk has brought in uh, some amount of pyrokinesis and uh, cave-ins. So, like, if he untaps with his survival to go grab a squee, he can possibly just completely um, kill yep. Arna's border. This is a good pick up here. Yep. So okay, you now, have... this is a really tricky spot. So playing the second lord immediately makes it makes it do or die. Yeah. So I like not playing it here, but let's say he do he does a pyrokinesis or something else, right? Yeah. Then the second lord isn't really impactful again. It's just a two two two. Yeah, yeah. And now he has a frantic search, arrogant worm to block the Lord of Atlantis. Well, we'll it will match, get a daze, right? It will, for sure. Come on, Arnold. He does it. Oh, This he... is a great daze. This is a great daze. <laughs> daze for daze, man. Yeah. All these Don't funky islands, by the way. Like, where are the old school islands, Anton? <laughs> where, where is the, yeah. where is the... I, I know. can see a forest with, with, with black letters. What is this? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't play MTGO. I haven't played it in like two or three years, but like old frame basic doesn't cost more than a cent still, right? Yep. Yeah. Even the even the really tricky old base, like oh. maybe four cents or five cents. So why didn't Arnold deploy the second Lord of Atlantis there? Like it was yeah, I think he, he's maybe he doesn't either. know about Yeah. By the way, it doesn't really improve your clock because it's still two, but yeah. Yeah. Or the value from double squee careful study, but having two furnaces here is pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. But he brought it, he brought it in two, right? So all yeah. really good thinking, right? So boarding two, drawing two. That's that's yeah. that's how we want to see it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Huh. There's not a lot of time, right? Because if you play it now, it's also eight damage. Surely he's um, going to play the Lord of Atlantis now, right? Yeah, yeah, he has to. He has to. And now he can make Island Walk and swing in for six. Pretty good. Ah, oh, this is sweet. This is really, really sweet. <laughs> You're really loving the title warrior here, right? <laughs> I mean, we don't get to see this too often. I'm like, yeah, god damn, that was I a sweet uh, game. That yeah. was a really sweet game, 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Okay, cool. and now, now we're on the draw, right? So now definitely he's going to... Oh, he already clicked Submit. Okay, okay. so he didn't uh, board in the Anuls there, okay. Okay, exactly, because uh, because now Anuls is really good uh, on getting in turn, turn two lined up. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, uh, wonky hand. hand right? Yeah, he this has to. Be. He needs two lands. Yeah. Also, double foil is not really what you want in this matchup. Yeah. I think last game was exactly what he wanted. Yeah. Tidal warrior always keep really easy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, he can mulligan a uh, bouncer here because the winter will be quite impactful as well. So. Oh, but yeah, it's. It was a ballsy move by Arnold in game two to attack into three open mana with a survival out without uh, Island Walk, because like he could have also just went for Basking Root Wallace to. Yep. Uh, so, but it paid off. Ooh, this is a really good start. An opener with Study, Squee, and the Basking Root Wallace. Oh, yeah. Well yeah. Yeah. And this is what we already saw in game one, right? You're immediately on yeah. the back foot. Yeah. yeah. And not having a wasteland, uh, a wastelandable 
land drop on turn one <laughs> either. So like, yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy that like Madness became a real deck. And yeah. uh, I'm really happy that Merfolk is getting a Ooh. love display here as well. Snubbed okay. here. I'll just yeah, snubbed yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Why, mm. uh, why did he do that? Not sure. Uh, just sending maybe, a message. Maybe he's afraid of the title warrior. I don't know. But where there's one title warrior, there's always a second one. Yeah, and the third apparently. So and that's how it works. That's how it works. He can he can even like use his wasteland as the second island now. Uh, I do like that. Okay, so <laughs> Stanley doesn't have any more lands, or he wants his uh, Yalmai cost in his hand for a better payoff, I guess. Yeah, both can be uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah. I like that the creatures are so little in these matchups that you actually mm. have a little bit more time than normally. Because yeah. normally you have to be immediately dealing with tricky creatures. Yeah, 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 for sure. Here you can just take uh, take some extra turns, um, mm. taking two to a turn. This is an interesting play. I think Arnold makes interesting plays. Like this is perhaps probably correct to just slam dudes, but like. Yeah, no, he found mm. Gush b uh, b because of the merchant. Yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. I thought he drew the Gush there because he could have Gushed instead of attack. But yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Don't mind me. We have a cleanup step basking with Walla on the way back. That's also. The best. Yeah. <laughs> also funny to see. That's how you play around. So obviously, Stanley is signaling um, counter spell. Yeah. I can also think of days. Yeah. But yeah, you two, two extra cards with the with the with the careful study. So or his hand is full on green cards and he didn't didn't get there. Yeah, it might be so. I I feel like he has one uh, green non basic land that he doesn't want to waste. Like that should be for I'm not sure. Like in this setup, maybe but, a frantic search, uh, because now wasteland is tapped, so and I also dislike tapping Wasteland here, because yep. if Stanley draws Wasteland, then he mm. gets out of the... Uh... Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> Well, here we see the secret tech of uh, how survival deals with uh, swarm decks. Wow, that's this a huge is... one. Do you think you gush in response? Or do you just take this? I would gush and hope and pray that we hit foil on that. Yeah. But I think uh, Stanley will counter spell gush here. Well, then we have actual game in our hands because yeah. then uh, uh, this arch, please, please, what is this? <laughs> Yeah, we get to we get to criticize the new frame art. Yeah, but you that, see the title warrior and the Sakota Lancer, and you're you're like, oh, this is so perfect. This is <laughs> let's let, let's have this. And then Stanley just mocks you with pyrokinesis from some Yu-Gi-Oh pile pile or something. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I don't know Luckily, this. he's uh, he's going to bounce back, right? That's that's what you want to say. Yeah, yeah, good one. Ooh, got a counter spell. Okay. Yep. And then swing for one again. You see, you have all the, all the time in the world in this match. Mm. Uh, still no green mana source. I don't think he's going to play around the second place. Right? Or sorry, the wasteland bounced by um, oh, oh. by Gush. Strange as it sounds. Out with the third one. Yep. And this one sticks. Okay. I'm not sure if yeah. playing the third island was good there. Mm. I'm also. What is your game plan now? Like, like drawing multiple one ones and trying to race, or because you're yeah. behind on cards? Yeah, very much so. I have no idea. Like, you really need to find gush and uh, start seeing some action. Like, uh, yeah, a pyrokinesis. Uh, 
Mm, taking out three cars, that's oof. rough, man. Yeah. And now he's stepping out. And... Hmm. Okay. There's no Arctic removal, right? In the um, list. Yeah, I think he plays one naturalize uh, in um, main deck, and I think he has access to four crumbles in sideboard as well. Okay. So uh, Stanley has outs for sure, and uh, I assume he respects Winter Orb and Furnace, so probably there takes was no him. attack and no block from Michael Arnold. So one or yep. the other, don't do nothing. Yeah. And he but really can not want to be cyborged in, right? So I can cannot imagine being brought in from here. I have no idea. I mean, a mid range deck that wants to like abuse a lot of mana, probably. Like I don't think you expect like enchantments in Arnold's yeah. deck. So um, I think you could board out the naturalized for a crumble and. Uh, Probably one more, like having respect for Winter Orb uh, is something. Yeah. Yep. We're also in turn nine. So Stanley has drawn, drawn two studies. So four yeah. cards plus eight is 12 cards deep. And we haven't still found this third land. Uh, Did he find I it? Mean, he, he must. No. <laughs> what? He didn't find it. And this is weird because, like, Arnold can't really bounce. Because then Stanley can just go to clean up and uh I will go to clean up and he can discard um the the root well again. Yeah, maybe just that's just the game plan. <laughs> just the flying wanderers root 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 walla and go to town. Yeah. yeah. But again two furnaces found by uh by Matar, so and yeah. no attack again. Why won't you attack here? Because you don't have flying. Yeah, I have. Um... I'm not sure. Okay, squeeze going to be exa, I guess. So yeah. We are thinking about it. Yes, we are doing it. Yeah, seems seems good. And now the flood is like flood against crew, right? At some point. Yeah. And this might be a long game with the winter or about as well. <laughs> yeah. It, it could also be really short if he just goes for for uh, work, you know? Yeah. Oh, oh. What, what's this play? <laughs> <laughs> Forcing you know Arnold to, to deal with it. <laughs> we also need a bouncer, right? Yeah. These, these draws have been horrendous. Yeah. So you, you might as well discard a, an island here to bounce the bouncer, right? Or yeah, that's exactly. play. Yeah. I don't like playing the fourth island there, but uh, maybe with Gush and Dage you can just get him back. Yeah. But again, the, the like like stopping the opponent, this deck is really good capable of, but uh Cyberpunk we're still on eighteen. And it's turn yeah. eleven, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Arnold had a plan, but the pyrokinesis really changed the outcome here. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's also no survival or something, so you really need something to, well, or multiple gushes or mm. creatures that stick. It would be really, really interesting to see Stanley's hand, because I mean, I, I imagine it's stacked, uh, <laughs> and I feel like he's playing this uh, this mini game where like. He just wants Arnold to like, come on, bounce mm -hmm. my bounce my lizard, and I will just go to to clean up, and I will replay it. And like, uh, you won't do any damage for me. And if you want to trade, sure. Okay, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this got him cave in pyrokinesis. Why not? Well, this makes sense. Maybe the maybe the hand is just full on pyro pyrokinesis, just full on answers, and really not necessary. To to have so 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 many answers. I didn't see what card he, he exiled for casting the Cave pyrokinesis. In. Cave in. Okay. Cave in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mentioned that, that I probably don't sideboard both at the same time, but he kind of did. 
Yep. That also means that you have more more outs of having a red card. So yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um Wonder gets exiled again. We found a third land. It's I get an island, <laughs> so it doesn't really uh, <laughs> help you that much. Ah, uh, this is weird. Like when when we see Stell's first forest, then stuff will happen. <laughs> then stuff will happen. Yeah. We have a foil of countering the bouncer again. Oh, three for one in yourself for a one one there. Oof. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I mean, Mike is ticking down. Is uh, just a twelve now, so like. Somehow Stan is it, and draws another land. <laughs> it really looks at the first uh, game, actually. Yeah. It looks like the first game, just dwindling down one yeah. at a time. And maybe Stanley has just a really good hand, but just opted to not go faster. Just this is also fine. Yeah, I mean, he's super disciplined with his deck. So, like, I, I feel like he has played his deck so much that he has, he has a plan for every possible matchup now by now so, yeah yeah all right and now i mean see here he uh, he did lure out the uh, wasteland uh by mm -hmm. having arnold discarding to foil and now he drops this you have coast okay like he he had so much patience there he he if this was in his hand and he waited for like 11 fucking turns to just play around <laughs> wasteland do you know what kind of discipline that takes like wow yeah, no, I'm. I I don't have the discipline of, of watching these cards with black, with with black numbers on them. Like <laughs> like, and then also for thirteen turns, it's it's quite something. Yeah. And we are on turn fourteen, and we are still hitting each other with one ones. I want to. So. Yeah, but now it's a three three possibly. <laughs> yeah, with yeah, with, with with winter orb. Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, if Mike blocks, then uh, Rupa yes. will survive. So, and Mike won't block there. Um, like a full grip still, seven cards in hand. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Okay, Gush. Oh, Ooh. another land. Like, oh God, he has drawn so Ooh. many lands. And I think he plays 20 lands. 50. Yeah, 15 islands, one Cephalid Coliseum, and four Wastelands. It's Arnold's Jeez. deck, so... Yep. Also filtering, right? With the LB Merfolk? Yeah, with, uh... yeah exactly. exactly. It has six filter Merfolks, so... If it lands an Arrogant Worm here, then it's very good for Stan. And he has mm -hmm. to have a Worm, right? I mean, the yeah, way he respected uh, the waterfront bouncers, I feel like Stanley has had a long, long term plan here. Yep. Yeah, there, there it is. Goes. It's madness. Here it yeah, comes. It's madness. He's also arrogant, this worm, right? It's also. Yeah, it's yeah, like, the worst. It keeps <laughs> on hitting you, mocking you, explaining how good he is, right? <laughs> I mean, it, 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 exactly that feeling. Like when you lose to an arrogant worm, it's like, really? Yeah. It's so How? Rude. But like, yeah, it happens. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, so, it's so rude, right? Like, no. look at me, I'm 4 4. Even here, having the discipline to not tap out uh, to pump Rootwalla in case of a block because he has like. Counterspell yeah. up instead is like, yeah, Stan is uh, showcasing some real. There. But it's yeah, Arnold is drawing. Is also, yeah, it, it, like the draw is horrendous, right? But also yeah. the match is kind of. Um, the blue Merfolk deck has a couple of cards that are really good and there are a lot yeah. of fillers, right? So if you can yeah. stop the Lot of Atlantis, for instance, then yeah. yeah. Yeah, they scale very, very, very hard. Uh, <laughs> the Lord of Atlantis. Uh, remember that from like back in Legacy. Like you feel, <laughs> ah, just fish. It doesn't matter. And then like eight of oil, end of turn, Lord of Atlantis, Lord of Atlantis, Lord of Atlantis. Like shit, this is twelve damage. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
I would I would have gladly liked not a lot of Atlantis, but the uh, the new one. Mm. I'm not sure how new it is, but I think there are two Lord of Atlantis, like mm. one Lord of Atlantis and one somewhat similar card, Sovereign or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, now Stan is going for Lago here. He knows Arnold has to block to survive, and he gladly pumps his Rootwalla to kill this little blocker. So, yeah. And I don't think we have any outs here, like Gush. No. Uh, I mean, sub Submerge won't even do it. So, yeah. Double Submerge from a ah, Gush. Yeah. Double Winter Orb, you asked for it, Anton. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Arnold well. drew uh, really shitty for like 10 turns in a row. Um, and I suspect Stanley piloted that really well. I think he had a uh, Yavimaya cost for ages, but he didn't want to play it into a uh, wasteland. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I think so. so. And it's always fun was... to see, right? Uh, playing yeah. Pyrokinesis, this got a red card. Ooh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, a super cool match. Um, Really love it to see, like, yeah, the the big, like, uh, are we calling it tempo decks or aggro control decks? I'm not sure, but, like, yeah, it's sweet to see tempo versus tempo. I think people never talk about tempo, right? We should yeah. we should have, like, a whole long list of a half an hour deciding <laughs> it's a tempo or a tempo uh, or a control aggro deck or... Uh, no. Yeah, we, we don't but use that word. 2-1 for, uh, for, for Stanley, so three yeah. points for him. Yep. Yeah. Well played.